In the midst of the Russia-Ukraine conflict and Moscow's numerous nuclear warnings, a U.S. senator claimed that the United States is falling behind Russia and China in hypersonic technologies. What are hypersonic missiles? A hypersonic missile is a weapon system that flies at least at Mach 5 or 5 times the speed of sound and is maneuverable as compared to ballistic missiles, which follow a predetermined trajectory. Hypersonic glide vehicles HGV, and hypersonic cruise missiles HCM, are the two types of hypersonic weapon systems. The HGV is launched from a rocket before gliding to the intended target, while the hypersonic cruise missile is powered by air-breathing high-speed engines or scramjets after attaining its objective. The BrahMos-2 BrahMos-2, also known as BrahMos Mark II, is a hypersonic cruise missile being developed jointly by India's Defence Research and Development Organisation and Russia's NPO Machinostronia. The Congressional Report states that, as part of its hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle program, India is developing an indigenous, dual-capable both conventional and nuclear hypersonic cruise missile, and has successfully tested a Mach 6 scramjet in June 2019 and September 2020. India has about 12 hypersonic wind tunnels that can test speeds up to Mach 13. The BrahMos-2 is expected to have a range of more than 800 to 1,000 kilometers and a top speed of Mach 8. Russia is developing a special and secret fuel formula to enable the BrahMos-2 to exceed Mach 8. Advantages of hypersonic missiles When other forces are unavailable, hypersonic missiles might provide quick, long-range strike options against distant, guarded, or time-critical threats. Due to their speed, maneuverability and low altitude of flight, hypersonic missiles could challenge detection and defense. Hypersonic missiles are not detectable by ground-based radars or terrestrial radars until late in their flight. And, this delayed detection makes it difficult for responders to analyze their alternatives and attempt to stop the missile. An influential American senator, Jack Reed, chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee in Washington, has observed that the United States is no longer has a dominant position on a number of advanced technology. According to some analysts, the United States' current command and control mechanism for missile defense would be incapable of processing data quickly enough to respond to and neutralize an incoming hypersonic missile. Dr. William Laplante, to be Under Secretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment, said in his opening remarks that, China, our pacing threat, and, an increasingly authoritarian, Russia, focused on regional hegemony and other existential threats, pose grave risks to the global order and threaten our way of life. He hopes to begin immediately to accelerate getting into the mainstream weapon systems to get back into this race. He added, a failed test is one where one doesn't learn. One has to continue to do testing, to your point. China and Russia just kept going. And so you have to test, you have to learn from the tests and just keep going. The United States is developing hypersonic weapons through the Navy's conventional prompt strike program, as well as the Army, Air Force and Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. In 2010-2011, the United States conducted a joint DARPA Air Force experiment in which a hypersonic glide vehicle was flown from Vandenberg Air Force Base to Kwajalein. Both experiments failed and the United States halted work on hypersonic glide vehicles. Russia revealed its hypersonic missile, Kinzhal or Dagger, in 2018 and recently deployed it for the first time under combat conditions in Ukraine. While China is said to have tested an HGV launched by a Long March rocket in August 2021. China has also extensively tested the DFZF HGV, which has a range of 1,200 miles and put into service in 2020. In August 2018, China successfully tested Starry Sky 2, or Xing Kong 2, a nuclear-capable hypersonic vehicle prototype. 
most U.S. hypersonic weapons are still in the development or testing phase. Russia has been pursuing hypersonic weapon technology since the 1980s and used in Ukraine, and has become the first nation to deploy hypersonic weapon in combat. Launched its hypersonic missile, Kinzhal or Dagger, at least one such missile, against a target in Ukraine. Russia also claims to have a hypersonic glide vehicle, the Avangard. According to reports, the Avangard carries a nuclear warhead, and Russian news outlets have claimed that the Avangard has been in service since December 2019, and also developing the Sirkon, a ship-launched hypersonic cruise missile. The U.S. officials say Beijing conducted hundreds of hypersonic weapons tests between 2016 and 2021, and at least one missile capable of carrying hypersonic glide vehicles may now be in operation. And North Korea claims to have successfully tested two hypersonic missiles. India, France, Germany, Japan, and Australia are also developing hypersonic weaponry while Iran, Israel, and South Korea are reportedly said to have conducted basic examination on hypersonic weapons.